Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Ride Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this chassis system, High Cube 8 Door Boxcar. And as you can see here, this is a much bigger boxcar than the boxcars we built in the past. And thanks to Shirley Krishna for requesting that I do a chassis system boxcar and making this video possible. So let's go ahead and get right into it here. So as usual, I'm going to build this on the end of the train I already have. The first step is to take a dark oak stair to be the coupler and get it connected up. Underneath that, we'll put a dark oak landscape for an air hose. Then coming off that stair, we're going to put a line of three blue concrete down the middle here. Underneath that, we'll put a line of dark oak fence gates to continue this air hose down. Behind that, we'll do our wheels. So on the next block down, get a block of brown terracotta on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take out spruce stairs upside down in a back-to-back t-shape -back pattern here, coming three across the rails. Then behind that, another set of brown terracotta wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to put a hopper in front of each wheel on the side and a dark oak fence in front of the stairs. Same thing here, fences in front of stairs, hoppers in front of the wheels. Then we'll swing down here and on each side of this blue concrete we're going to put an upside down warp stair facing backwards. Then a blue concrete on either side of that. Then we'll swing around here and we're going to extend the blue concrete till it's one block before the end of this truck. We'll do the same thing over here fill all this in with blue concrete. Then we'll put one on each corner to mark the first door. Now we're going to come off this bottom outside block here and continue on with our blue concrete. And we're going to put it in a line of nine blocks long. Once you have nine blocks, put one block on the end of that ninth one to mark the other side of the door here and we'll go ahead and just fill in this whole floor here bring it right out to where we stopped here once we get down here we'll mark that other corner for the door on that side now we'll go ahead and extend it out on the side again this time coming 10 blocks long we put one on top of the end to mark out the second door. Then we'll go ahead and fill in the rest of this floor here to the other side of the rails with blue concrete to finish the floor. And bring it right out to where we stopped here. And mark off the top block on the other side as well. Now we'll extend it down again for the second door on this side. And we'll extend it nine blocks down and mark one off on the top. Then same thing, we'll go ahead and fill all this floor in here. And bring it right up to there. And then we'll mark off the door on the corner on this side as well. Now we gotta do the other truck here. So we're gonna come underneath this with brown terracotta for the wheel. And we're gonna get it placed on the rail one block in from the end here. We'll swing around, put an end rod for an axle, and another brown terracotta wheel. Then, spruce stairs upside down in a back-to-back T-shaped pattern, coming three across the rails here. Then another set of brown terracotta wheels with an end rod axle. Then we put hoppers in front of the wheels on the side, and dark oak fence in front of the stairs on the side. Same thing over here, fences in front of the stairs, hoppers in front of the wheels. Then we'll extend out our floor of blue concrete here to the end of this truck. Then in the middle we're going to extend three blue concrete off it. Then under that three, we'll place dark oak fence gates for the air hose on this side. On either sides of the end, we're going to put upside down warp stairs facing outward. And then blue concrete can be filled in all the way to the ends here. 
Same thing over here. Now we'll put one blue concrete on each corner on this end here. And then we'll come down to the other end of the car here and put one blue concrete on each corner down here. Then we'll come back to this other end and do the coupler. So get a dark oak stair and get it stacked up to that second block. Delete the one you used for placement and put a dark oak fence gate underneath it to complete the airline. Now swing back down on the end here and in this gap here we'll put three upside down warp stairs coming across. Then we're going to put a column of temporary blocks on the side that's another five blocks tall. Then we're going to start filling in all of this end here with upside down warp stairs. And just keep bringing them all the way across here. When we get to the top level, we're going to use upside down smooth port stairs. Then we can delete these five blocks and fill in this side here. Now we'll swing down and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other end of the car here. So come to one of the corners and raise it up by five blocks. Then start filling everything in with upside down warp stairs here coming all the way across. On the very top row, we switch to upside down smooth court stairs. Then we can go ahead and delete these five blocks on this end and replace them with the corresponding stairs. Now we'll go ahead and switch back to blue concrete and fill in this whole side up to that marker block until it's the same height as these stairs here. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side here. Fill this all in right up to that marker block we already placed. Now we'll skip down to the next marker block here is that gap is for a set of doors. Get this all raised up to the same height here. And we'll go ahead and fill all this in to the next marker block. Now we skip to the back of the car and we'll fill this all in to the same height up to this first marker block, leaving a gap for the doors on this end. And do the same thing on the other side here. Now we'll work on the actual doors, so come in with oak stairs because the doors are supposed to be yellow. Come right up against this wall and put a line of stairs coming up against the wall. Spin around and do the same thing on this side. Then we're going to turn and make a line of sideways outward facing stairs and another line. Same thing over here, two rows of outward facing stairs. Then we'll spin around and do this over here, so two rows of outward facing stairs coming up. Same thing here. Then we're going to make it wrap, so turn this way so it wraps around the corner like that and has a distinct middle for the door and then turn this way and do the same thing. So our doors look like that with a middle beam coming up. Now we got to come and do the next set of doors. So same thing, a stack of stairs right up against this wall here, spin around and up against these walls. Then turn to the side and two columns of outward facing stairs. Same thing here, two columns of outward facing stairs. Then come around and do this side, so two columns here. 
two golems here. And we'll turn this way so the middle wraps. Put a column here and here. Then spin around the other way. Put a column here. And here. Now all of our side doors are done. Come around on top and fill in this top middle three going from end to end. Now we have to do all the detailing. So take out a ladder and come down on these corners. Put two ladders here and two ladders here. Same thing, two ladders here, two ladders here. Then we'll do that down here on this end. So ladders on each side of this corner ladders on each side of this corner. Come up on the right hand side of the car on top and in this section one block down from the top knock out the middle three and replace it with yellow concrete to represent where it says chassis system. Now we're going to work on the logo here. So in this middle gap of blue concrete between both sets of doors we're going to come over to one side so we can count over and make sure that it's centered here so i'm going to come on the third block up from the bottom and i'm going to put four temporary blocks coming across in front of that i'm going to knock out three so i know the logo centered get rid of those temporary blocks fill that gap with yellow concrete one over and one up, make a column of three, and then one in that corner, and one in this corner. So it's like a mini C shape. Then we'll come up one and knock out a row of three and fill that in. Here's our Chessie logo. Now we'll do the logo on the other side, so come across the top here and use that to tell you where the center is. Knock out three and fill it with yellow concrete. Knock out one down on the left side and one over, and extend it another two down, and then one back over so you have that mini C shape, and then the bottom three, and fill that with yellow concrete. Now we have the logo on this side. Now we're going to work on some more letter detailing, so come to the left hand side of the car by the bottom, and one over from the first warp stair here, knock out two, and fill it with yellow concrete. Then put two oak signs underneath it. And then move over and put one oak sign by the bottom of the door and a stone button in between the signs. Then we'll start moving towards this end of the car. By the second door, we're going to put an oak sign with a button underneath it. Then we're going to come over here on this end and make a two by two of stone buttons here. Then we're going to knock out a column of two and we're going to put netherite in it. Then two more stone buttons going to the end. Now we'll go detail the other side of the car here. So come on over and go to the opposite end. By this door here we do the two by two of stone buttons, knock out a column of two, and put netherite in it, and then two stone buttons. Then we'll swing down to the other end here and move one over from the first row of warp stairs, knock out two, place it with yellow concrete, two oak signs go underneath that, then a button and another sign. Come on down by the right hand side door and place a button with a sign above it next to the door. Now come back around to this other side, there's one more detail we have to do. Up here. One down and in the middle, knock out three and replace it with yellow concrete for the lettering on this side. Now we'll do the roof, so come on top here, skip one block in from the end. We're going to take our iron trap door and make a line of iron trap doors coming across the side like this. And then we're just going to keep skipping a block and then doing a line of iron trap doors all the way down the car till we get to the other end.
Now starting on the end here, we're going to fill all the gaps in between them with white carpet down to the other end of the car. Then we're going to take a jungle trap door here on the end and close it right there for the handbrake wheel. And there you have it folks. We've completed this chassis system high cube eight door box car. And thanks to Shirley Krishna for requesting that I make a chassis system box car and making this video possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.